Welcome to this Flight Simulator update movie. In this movie, we're going to look at the latest additions to the marketplace of Flight Simulator 2020. This week, we've got 32 new items, so let's go to them. First of all, we've got uh, super livery packs, and super livery packs are combined packages. So here again, a reminder, don't buy those packages separately because you pay much more. Uh, so wait a few weeks, then they will come into a bundle, and then you will get them for a very cheap price in this case you'll get a discount and you will have both packages for two euros instead of five euros it this package includes three four liveries for the uh, cg4 so have fun with it here are some livery uh, examples right which are included so pretty cool and if you love flying aircraft but simply want to have more liveries then this is a good package that you can buy the next one from the same developer to pilot for the king air 350 india super pack bundle again a bundle pack including multiple liveries in this case for different aircraft not really cool then the next one again from two pilot also a package orange three in this case a livery pack but in this case you can see that it includes 15 liveries uh, and it includes liveries from around the world and two airliners uh, delta and emirates so if you love buying i would say only a small package then this could be the one but you're still paying two euros right so i would say why not buy this one because it contains uh, this one also uh, based on screenshots that's the same thing is uh, applicable to this one right which is the king air 350 india liveries pack number two uh, also available the same developer so they've been busy and it's also available in the bundle so be smart and don't buy this single one but simply buy it by both of them right then we've got captain sim which has released the 6767 200 echo romeo papa whiskey livery pack number two which includes three ultra high resolution uh, liveries for their 767 200 echo romeo papa whiskey keep in mind you will need to have this one from captain sim else won't work so they released uh, delivery pack with Avianica, China Airlines, and Royal Brunei Airlines. And here you can see some of the screenshots. So it looks pretty nice. So if you love flying the aircraft and you already own the Captain Sim 767-200 Echo Romeo Papa Whiskey, then consider buying this one. Then we've got Bravo Airspace, which has released the ATR Europe number two, which is a delivery pack for the ATR, uh, which has been released a while ago. Keep in mind that the ATR is payware. It's not that expensive and it's really high quality. Uh, so do consider this uh, package, but keep in mind that you still need to have, uh, let's say the aircraft itself, right? So multiple airliners, as you can see from throughout uh, Europe, as well as some corrections like okay, the added passenger window, metallic border, uh, correct engine decals, engine uh, design. So here are some screenshots uh, of this aircraft, right? So you can see, it looks really cool. Scrolling down the list, we find CRZ, CRZ Studio, the BBS Islander livery pack number one. Uh, this includes, doesn't include sorry, the aircraft, so you need to have the black box simulation BN2 Islander number V2. And these are the liveries included, right? So both uh, HM uh, Coast Guards as well as uh, Air Flamengo, uh, the Scottish Air, Air Ambulance. And other things so if you love flying the aircraft but are simply looking for some more liveries then consider this one now we've got stealthy duck which came comes with the cape cod airports the cape cod airport includes four of the favorite destinations on the cape and seven uh, functional lighthouses again this is a bundle right so you can see that there are multiple airports included so if you love flying in that area then consider buying this package see that the images or the graphics which they have uh, provided looks really cool then fsim studios released winnipeg international airport shara shara yankee whiskey golf yeah it's a critical hub for travel in the central uh, canada right it's uh, eight kilometers from downtown winnipeg and manitoba what does it include uh course the airport a uh, very detailed terminal building uh, featuring fully modeled interiors that's only for the pc version not for the xbox version 
Uh, highly detailed models of all the airport buildings, objects, and surroundings, and they updated it to the latest Microsoft Flight Simulator SDK features for optimal optimization and performance. Uh, some fully uh, modeled uh, terrine testing facility, uh, Western Canada Aviation Museum, and the iconic Tim Hortons on runway number 36. And here you can see the screenshots, right? These look, I would say, pretty impressive, right? Really high detail. You can see also some cargo. Uh, aircraft over there. This is the uh, terminal building. So you can even, I'd say, enjoy the internal or the inside of the terminal building, including some static aircraft, also some military aircraft, including some military vehicles. So pretty cool. Then actually, we already had that one. Then we've got the duo crane ship from Skyline Simulations, right? So if you are bored flying in an aircraft, then you can always make the move to uh, flying a crane ship. Uh, and then you can enjoy, I would say, flying, with flying, landing on this one. So I was wrong, right? I thought that this ship was to fly or to, to, I would say, to move. But it looks like that this one is simply to land on. Uh, so it looks really impressive, really detailed, right? So let's go to the top and see, okay, hey, test. Yeah, it's landing skills, right? So you don't need to fly with this one, but you can land on this one. So it's located in two areas, right? One in the uh, Caribbean Sea and one in the North Sea. And these are the, I would say, the ACAO codes for those locations. Then we've got SoFly, which has released Explore the West Coast US. Uh, that's, I'd say, in line with the packages which are releasing. So in this case, they List another package, includes six of the state's most cultural and significant cities of the west coast of the US. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, more than 120 landmarks, points of interest, and important locations. Of course, some voice with it, and it's fully compatible with USA World Update. And here you can see some of the screenshots which they have provided. So pretty nice. Then we've got FSDG, which has released the Victoria Falls Airport. Victor or no Foxtrot Victor Foxtrot Alpha, and that one is also pretty nice if you look at it. Uh, of, unfortunately, there's not too much description about it, but if you look at it, I'd say it's in uh, located in uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, and they have interiors for the terminal buildings, so pretty cool. Then we've got Georgetown Night Announcement by Dream Scenery. They're back. So they have released a dream or a night announcement. In this case for Georgetown, which is the large city of the Cayman Islands, right? So, and here you can see some of the examples. Uh, as always, right? Cool to see, especially if you're flying over this city in the night. Then we've got SoFly again with the global landing South of Asia, which will give you several landing challenges in the diverse regions and experience an array of landscapes, environments, and cities. Uh, so you will simply be put in the uh, pilot seat, right? And then you can land on 80 different possible landing splits across various weather scenarios and aircraft types. Uh, so that's cool. So if you love challenging yourself, then this might be a package or an update. Or, or not an update, a package which you want to buy. Package, likely the correct wording. Then again, Dream Scenery, Granada Night Announcement. It's in uh, Spain. So also some new things here. Again, some illuminated highways, etc. So cool. Then they also uh, touched the Greek islands, also received an, uh, an update, right? So uh, they touched uh, Crete, uh, Mykonos, uh, Rhodes, uh, Santorini. So those are the islands which they touched. And here you can see a few of the screenshots which they have provided. Then Heaven Designs and Giba released the HVN 4B Global Hawk. That's, I would say, an unmanned aircraft, right? Also known as a long endurance unmanned aerial vehicle, a UAV. Uh, and I would say it contains a lot of things, right? So if you love flying this, then you could consider buying it. But then you need to remotely fly it, right? As shown here. Then Samsung 3D released Japan City Nagoya. So they updated the city of Nagoya in Japan, 300 handcraft iconic buildings, uh, custom handcrafted bridge models, handcraft of Nagoya Castle and landmarks, and a beautiful night effect, as well as building rooftops or landable helipads, right? So if you love flying with helicopters and land on roofs, so that means challenging yourself, 
then this could be something which you might might consider to buy. So cool things. Then scrolling down the list, we find Skyline Simulations, which has released Cincinnati International Airport, Kilo Charlie Victor Golf. It's in uh, Northern Kentucky. So they have added animated custom jetways, uh, animated radio system, people in the terminals, as well as UHD uh, replicate 3D models, PBR textures, detailed night environment, thermal interior, DHL and Amazon Hub, as well as hundreds of 3D custom objects. They didn't include too many screenshots, uh, but you can see some of them here, right? So this is the terminal building, including, let's say, an elephant or a mammoth, which is had, uh, added there. You can see the uh, jetways over there with the signs and even the, um, say, the terminal building, right? You can see people waiting for their aircraft. Then we've got proper flight, which has released I-42 Municipal Airport, Kilo Foxtrot Romeo Hotel. So it's an airport in southern Indiana in the USA. So again, high realistic PBR architectures, high resolution textures, realistic night enhancements, and models which have been optimized. Here you can see some of the examples, right? So pretty cool to see uh, that they have released this. Not sure if all the aircrafts are included. Could be that there's some static aircraft, so keep that in mind. Then Dreamflight has released Palo Alto Airport. Kilo Papa Alpha Oscar is in the Silicon Valley's uh, Tech Titans, right? It's the gateway over there. So Silicon Valley, pretty close to it. And here you can see uh, how the airport looks like. Again, a lot of static aircraft, as it looks like. Uh, but that's, that's not too bad, right? Also, park, cars parked, including golf cars. So really nice to see. Scrolling down the list, we find Marching, which has released the Himalayas LAG Low Altitude Gliding. Uh, so it includes tracks for the Annapurna, uh, the Chowuya, the Daulagiri, the Everest, and several other ones. And this is specifically made for uh, gliders. So if you love flying with gliders, then you might consider buying this package, which looks to be pretty challenging. The next wind released Palmerston North Airport, November Zulu Papa Mike. It's in New Zealand. It's a regional airport. And here you can see how it looks like, right? So a lot of cars parked over there. Uh, terminal building with interior. So pretty cool that they have included this. Uh, fire trucks. So cool. Then we've got the real effects a320 neo created by salvo corporation so what's this well it will add some more real effects <laughs> so it adds some more realism especially for the a320 neo all uh, right so what's then included well uh, prepare for a groundbreaking leap in flight simulator with real effects right so things are engine intake a virtuous uh, experience the sheer power of your aircraft engines as they generate Integrate intake vortices, uh, send almost fire, engine strike vortices, uh, a lot of other cool things. So a lot of challenges, right? So in here you can see uh, how it looks like, uh, including some uh, nice things or some great challenges which you are or could encounter in real life. So that's cool. Here you can also see, let's say, the exhaustion. Then we've got Santa there, not announcement by Dream Scenery. Again, a city which receives an update. Uh, so, again, pretty cool. Then Dream Scenery has released also the Seattle and Region Water Fix. So, they fixed the water uh, in the Seattle area. Uh, so, it makes it more uh, realistic, as well as the bridges, viaducts, marines, boats, ports, and small islands, and all the places that were partially covered by water were corrected. Uh, so, that's cool to see. Nice. Then M Scenery has released the SU-57 Mike. It's uh, an aircraft, military aircraft, right? Uh, which has been uh, created. Uh, the same quality as always. I would say, I would love the cockpit to be a little bit more detailed. It looks too clean, if you ask me. Although there's some usage now over here. Then ST Simulations has released the Turkish Bridges 
as the name already says, it contains multiple bridges, including the Istanbul uh, Bosporus Bridge, the Fatih Sultan Mehmet Air Bridge, and the Yafa Sultan Selim Bridge. And this is how it looks like. So pretty cool that uh, I would say another developer steps in to fix all those bridges in Flight Simulator. Then we've got Savo Corporation, which has released the Bagdor Dogra International Airport, Victor Echo Bravo Delta. That's in partnership with uh, Design India, right? So then likely the airport is in India, and that's correct. Uh, so this is how it looks like. Uh, so pretty nice airport, as it looks like. So a lot of cars being parked over here. Also markers. So again, nice one. Then CM Flight, they released the Don Wang International Airport, Victor, Victor Tango Bravo Delta. Uh, it's one of two in one of the two international uh, airports serving the Bangkok me metropolitan region. So a lot of things included, right? The uh, military terminal buildings, the zone buildings and hangars, the soft cargo terminals, the private terminal buildings, uh, runway and taxiways are properly named. Uh, so pretty cool to see. So let's look at some of the screenshots which they have released. It looks pretty nice. Then scrolling down the list, we found we will find another airport, the Katayaki Airport, Win Whiskey India, Charlie Alpha, created by Salvo Corporation, in partnership with Newsim. So it's an airport in uh, West Java, right? So fully model terminal airport, surrounding airport buildings, upgraded ground textures, custom taxiway aprons, runways and textures, and PBR textures. So that has been, I'd say, changed and updated. And here you can see some of the screenshots which they have released, right? Including the traffic tower, of course. Terminal buildings. So nice. And then last but not least, the WZ88. Yeah, 18, 8. Created by M Scenery. Uh, it's a chi aircraft developed in China. And again, some military aircraft. So cool to see. So in total, there are 32 new items available in the marketplace for Flight Simulator 2020, the PC version. Here ends this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comments box below. And if you have anything which you want to know or are just curious about what's being released for Flight Simulator, then I would say subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.